If I were to say, what are the top three tips for preparing an abstract for submission? Number one is be sure that your data is well organized, that you know um, what it is that you've done. You're very clear about the data, that you, the results that you're going to present, and you're absolutely clear about the inference or the, or the, or the that, that you've gotten out of that research. So organize your abstract really well, organize your information that you want to give. And of course, you've got to remember that the, um, that the number of words that you can put in to an abstract are limited, and therefore you've really got to be very careful of how you organize it. So organize your research, make sure that the content that you want to give is, is actually there. Make sure that the inference that you're getting is truly based on the results that you're presenting. Uh, it's very distressing to reviewers when the results say something and the inference is something totally different. Um, and that, that, uh, that actually leads to a low score on that abstract. Uh, so be very clear of how you, you structure the data that you're presenting. The second point would be make sure that, that um, you've written it in good English. English is the language that we use for our uh, abstract submissions. So make sure that, that, that you've had the language assessed. Um, if, like for many of our um, uh, researchers who submit abstracts, um, English is not their first language, um, you can either find somebody within your own organization or within um, your own country. But SIOP also provides that resource. Um, you have the ability to submit uh, your abstract um, for uh, language adjustment and for mentorship in writing as well. And so that is a, 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 a resource that SIOP will provide uh, researchers who want their abstracts to be the best. So the third thing is that go through the potential questions that people might ask. When you answer those questions, that on its own may actually result in um, you changing the way your data is presented or adding or subtracting information that you'd originally put into your abstract. Um, and that obviously helps the researcher or the author understand what their research is, um, um, is expressing and what, how it's being perceived by the, uh, the audience. So those would be my three tips.